Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on the new Maybelline Brow Drama by iStudio and it's basically um, supposed to be like a sculpting gel and it has a tint to it so you can wear this alone or over top of your um, brows once you fill them in but I love this just to fill them in I have another one of these by a different brand and I really like it so I picked these up to do a first impressions video on them for you guys and I'm getting ready to go <clears throat> to the gym so I kinda wanted to see if they could hold up against me working out today so um the two colors I got were soft brown and I don't know what I did with the other box soft brown and oh deep brown so I have two colors and here's what they look like and they come in like little mascara um, tubes and this is what the actual wand is supposed to look like okay so what I'm gonna do basically is just put this on for you guys I'm gonna go about my day and I'm going to come back and show you guys how it held up throughout the day and what my final thoughts are so I'm gonna try to like swatch these on the back of my hand so you guys can see and also so I can figure out my um, best color I also went and got my brows um, waxed so that I can show you guys a little bit better too because I didn't want to like have crazy brows and then show you guys a brow product with my brows all over the place so um, first let's swatch these I guess as best as I can this one is in deep brown here's what it looks like and then and the consistency of these is of a gel um, if you guys have ever tried the Maybelline brow gel and this one is in the color soft brown which deep brown is gonna be my best bet and it's gonna give my brows the most um, tint possible so here's what it looks like on the hand so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and um, do deep brown so let's go And I don't notice it getting clumpy or anything. So that's an A plus as well. So here are my finished brows and they look amazing. And I probably just to like give it a pop, a pop. I'll probably use, well I'm gonna use this um, Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer. And um, kind of just like you know just as if I was actually filling in my brows with a powder or something I'm just gonna shape them a little bit and I'm excited because I'm really hoping that this product really really works because if so like I said this will be my go-to product and I'm almost sure of that these are my brows and 
if this holds up, which I please I'm crossing my fingers that it does, then this will be, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but I'm just hoping that it really works. I hope that it holds. I don't think that it gives an amount of time that they feel that it will hold up, so hopefully it will hold for at least eight, maybe eight to ten hours, but we shall see. So I shall be back so you guys can see the end result, and let's go. All right, guys, so here are my brows after about seven to eight hours of running around throughout the day. And I must say this stuff has held up through hell because I went to the gym today, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, and I worked my ass off and it wasn't all runny and I sweat like horribly when I'm working out and I didn't notice any like tint running down my face or when I went to wipe my forehead, I didn't get like um, uh, excess product off it's actually hard to get the product off as you guys can see like it doesn't show up on the hands it literally locks into place I had some swatches that I done on my hands earlier and I finally like after um, putting water on my hands and like having to scrub really hard it finally came off I noticed that it like dried up to yeah sort of like a gel would like this was like extra lock firm hold gel like it took so much for me to rub this stuff off of my hands today it was ridiculous you guys remember where I showed you guys the swatches of the two um, colors so those are the ones that I'm talking about I just now got those off my hands but overall this product is amazing I forgot to mention to you guys that it only retails for $7.99 and I've seen mine at a local um, Target is where I got mine from. Um, I'm not quite sure. Well, I think I went to CVS and I don't think I've seen it. To be honest, I think the only place that I have seen these in are um, Target. And they have like a display. You guys know that they have like the displays on the end shelves and stuff. I didn't find mine on the end shelf. I actually found mine in the Maybelline section, like sitting up on the high whoops, sitting up on the highest shelf that they have. So again, here they are, and this is what they come in like this. And like I said, I don't have any bad things to say because I'm not really, like this isn't a high-end product so I'm not looking for it to do like amazing magical things and be bulletproof. And it doesn't even promise to be waterproof but again it withstood me trying to scrub it off of my hand. So I think that it takes some intense like rubbing to get this stuff off. I did notice a little bit of fading. Um, as I look just a little bit right here um, but other than that this eyebrow <laughs> is really popping I don't know what it is but I only noticed like a little bit of fading but other than that I don't think that I had a problem with this product it really withstood everything and that's why I tried it on when I went to the gym today because I wanted to see how good this was because they advertise it like it's like you know the into world hunger so I'm glad that it worked and withstood my test and I don't know so I really really suggest that you guys try this out this is a great product from Maybelline I really love Maybelline anyway they always pretty much cease to amaze me with their products they have pretty good quality products and they're drugstore so you can't beat it it is very very easy to apply all you have to do Again, like I showed you guys in the demo, is to just take it and follow your natural um, arch. Or if you want to like sculpt it out and add more color, you can do so because you can. Um, you have a lot of control, believe it or not, with this like weird little poofy brush. You can easily um, take the brows any way that you want to with this. And like I can add myself a tail because I don't have one like I told you guys before but 
that's pretty much all I have to say about this product and I recommend you guys go out and try it and if you've tried it let me know how you guys liked it as I'm learning how to fill in my own brows because that can get kind of frustrating because um, you got to get one brow right and you got to get the next brow right so as I'm learning I think I'm going to stick with this like if I'm in a hurry because it's easy to just throw on or throw in your bag and do it on the go so I hope you guys found this video um, useful at all and it's been another not rapid review but it's been another review and until next time thank you guys for watching love you